Snakes in India live close to people and sometimes enter houses. Many rescuers trying to remove snakes get bitten and die because of inexperience or doing something really stupid like showing off, posing for pictures or clumsy handling. Snake bite is a medical emergency and can be fatal. When a snake needs to be caught and removed by a professional, here's how to do it safely. Meet Ajay Giri at the Agumbe Rainforest Research Station in Karnataka, one of India's best-known snake rescuers who does it right. The first thing to tell the person is make sure everyone keeps away from the snake. Remember, all snakes are protected under the Wildlife Act, so the forest department must be informed. Before heading out for the rescue site, Make sure you have a large, breathable bag for the snake. Check its condition. Are there any tears? Is it big enough? Does it have strong seams? Take extra bags just in case. Carry PVC pipes of different sizes for different sized snakes. Carry personal identification and basic first aid information in case you are bitten by a snake. Use a snake hook at all times. Don't use sticks or other objects that might break while handling. Once you reach the location, don't assume the snake will be in the same place where it was last seen. Be vigilant. Don't use your hands or legs to move objects out of the way. Always use your snake hook. Rescuing a snake requires your full attention. Have your friend control the crowd. Once located, Clear the area around the snake to create space to handle it safely. Don't improvise like these foolish snake handlers are doing. Don't use bottles or plastic containers. Be professional and carry your kit. The safest way to bag a snake is to wrap the cloth bag tightly around the PVC pipe, tie it and securely place it against the wall with a brick or stone. To a snake, it should look like a safe burrow. Get the bag ready first and only then pick up the snake. Don't injure the snake and put yourself in danger by pinning the snake and grabbing it by the neck. The safest way to handle a snake is to have minimum contact with it. Always use a snake hook to support the body of the snake. Once you pick up the snake, you must bag it as soon as possible. Every second the snake is in your hands, the greater the risk of being bitten. Which is also bad for the snake. Don't pose for photographs. Concentrate on what you're doing. Your safety and the snake's welfare are the top priorities. The snake deserves your respect. Without wasting time, gently guide the snake toward the pipe and let it enter on its own. Keep spectators back. The pipe and bag is the ideal method to use for big snakes like cobras, crates, and Russell's vipers. Saw-scaled vipers and pit vipers can be lifted with a snake hook and simply dropped into a bag. As soon as the snake enters the bag, use the snake hook to block its exit. Tie the bag in a simple knot. Knot it so there's space to put the hook through. This creates distance between the snake and the rescuer while carrying the bag. Once the snake is bagged, use this opportunity to talk to the people. Tell them the truth about snakes, how valuable they are in controlling rats, and how if you remove non-venomous snakes like rat snakes, the niche may be filled by a cobra, and how king cobras regularly eat cobras, vipers, and crates, the snakes which cause most snake bite deaths in India. And if a snake comes inside, leave doors and windows open so it can leave. 
Once it is closed, do not open the bag for photos or any other reason. Never keep the bag on your lap or near your legs. Careless snake rescuers have been bitten through the bag. Keep the snake in a box or separate compartment, like the boot or dickey of a car during transit. Make sure the knot is secure and make sure the floor is not hot. If a four-wheeler is not available, call an auto to transport the snake. Release the snake as close as possible to where it was caught. If you take it out of its home range, it is likely to die. Place the hook in between the knot and the snake to safely open the bag. Have your friend document the release of the snake from a safe distance. Create a barrier with the hook once again to get a grip on the edge of the bag with a stitched corner. Now twist and lift the bag gently to nudge the snake out. There is absolutely no need to handle the snake at the time of release. Let the snake leave on its own. And always make sure the forest department authorities are present at the time of release. Remember, for snake rescuers, snake bite is not an accident. It just shows that you did not do your job well. Be professional, carry your equipment. Safety, the snakes and yours, is the highest priority. And remember, snake rescue is not a media event. Following these steps will keep you, the snake, and the people around you safe. Never go near a venomous snake. Call the forest department and wait for a professional rescuer. Meanwhile, make sure you give the snake enough space to escape. In most cases, it will just leave on its own. <laughs>